Okay, here we go. This is the Connor drive. Here's the tape that we're trying to read. I will insert that. It inserts. Uh, fine. Here's the system. Uh, Windows XP uh, Service Pack 3. There's the high density 50 pin SCSI plug. Here's the high density 50 pin on the back of the SCSI drive with uh, an active terminator there. Um, this is the drive I can't get to work with the Centronics. Here's a 50 pin high density to uh, Centronics converter and this is an active terminator here. I have a couple extra things. This is a uh, SCSI SCSI 25-pin uh, to USB converter, which I haven't made work yet. And this is a Centronics uh, uh, SCSI Terminator uh, device. Two of them, actually. One's a gender changer. I just picked it up at a garage sale, oddly. Anyway, so let's fire up... I'm working with kind of a little keyboard here. Let's fire up... Um, your program there we got there's our wind at there and as I get the program right up there and we'll select the drive SCSI bus tape zero there it is the the archive python 01931-xxx5ac shows up okay and then we'll so uh, let's go ahead and save this right on the C drive just to imitate the way you did it. We'll call it test. Test. There. Then we get our C test C there. Um, let me first try a rewind there. Not sure if that worked, but it stopped indicating. So let's do a seek. Let's go to five minutes, uh, eleven seconds, just for the fun of it. There we go. some action from the drive. I can hear that it's it's actually moving the transport. Locate failed. That's what happens with that, but not to um, not to worry. Let's try doing a start read. There we go, device oh get a lot of those. lot of errors. Could be that the drive is just fried somehow. But then we did get that switch to 1521 and that's that. Uh, let's oh there wait sample rate changed I should have let it maybe I should have let it read longer. Let me try that. Once again, a Fujifilm DG 120M. Actually, I don't know what's on this. Could use a different tape. I have used a variety of tapes with this. There we go. I'm going to shut down the, the app, close out the app, and then open it again. There we go. Let's just try a Try to select the drive, SCSI bus tape. Oh, it was already selected. Oh, there we go. And then select, let's overwrite this. So let's just name it Test A now. Test A. There we go. And let's try a start read. Yeah, that's what we get. 
I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let that be. See if we're still getting. I'm guessing there's some possibility that my audio firmware is corrupted somehow, and I wonder if there's any way to check that. There we did get an A time reading on there, as well as the 44K indication. Uh, just about ready to give up. Oh, there, here's some action in the drive. Okay. Well, that's that. Here's the setup. Not, not that it really matters, this part doesn't matter, but there's a there's the two drives, the Sony with the Centronics uh, Centronics type plug on the back, which I can't I can't figure out how to work with, haven't been able to make it work, and then uh, high density back there on this. That's that. In my cute little keyboard, not very big, and. Uh, Here's the PC, just a regular Windows machine. All right, thanks for looking at my video, and uh, let's get this software to work. So far, amazing. Oh, well, by the way, I do have VDAT here, which I can start up. Watch this. Here's VDAT. VDAT gives me there. Oh, there it is. And I get the no tape, it says. No sample rate, no tape, but it does read that there's an archive Python there. It seems to tell that there's a drive there. VDAT's an interesting program, and I did have it working at one point, so I'm guessing something's going on. I might just have to go out there and get another drive known to work. I would send this drive to another person who, who has a drive working. They could swap it out to see if that would work. No problem. Over and out.